Well, Lorenzo, when I talk to heads of tax around the world, one of the biggest concerns they have is tax authority disputes and controversy. And at the top of the list or near the top of the list is the question of permanent establishment in Italy. Tell me more about what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lorenzo, for the question. Let me share the screen because I prepare a couple of slides on a very interesting regime that is applicable in Italy on that point. So let me just give you a very brief um, contest on PE issues in Italy. Uh, the domestic provision is fairly aligned with the OECD model. Uh, however, the Italian tax authorities, as you said, have always uh, been very, very aggressive when assessing um, PEs in Italy. Uh, this approach has been validated by uh, tax court. Um, we have several um, case, case law issued by the Supreme Court that validate this approach. Um, and therefore, uh, this is a key point, hot topic for all uh, foreign companies doing business in Italy. Uh, on top of that, uh, penalties uh, and uh, criminal infringement are also related to P assessment. So it's a very hot topic also for the directors of the foreign entities that do business in Italy. Um, on that base, um, the Italian tax system provides some instruments to try to solve or to have certainty on, on that matter. So some of them uh, requires to be um, addressed before starting the operation in Italy. But since 2019, we have this cooperative compliance procedure, which is very interesting because it provides a retrospective analysis on the past. Um, we have some uh, threshold, um, only certain taxpayers can apply to that. So basically, the uh, key point is that the group turnover uh, must exceed 1 billion, at least in one of the three last years. Uh, also, the group uh, um, should uh, supply over 50 million euro to Italian customers. And the group um, should already, already have one or more Italian auxiliary companies. So like the one typically doing marketing support or working as an agent for a foreign principal. Um, key point here is that um, the Italian tax authorities should have not already started investigations uh, on P matters on the Italian uh, resident company or, or one or more of the foreign entities. Um, what are the main benefits of this procedure? First of all, um, the answer of the authorities is not only yes or no. If the answer is yes, so yes, there, there was a P, uh, the authorities uh, also perform um, a calculation of the profit attributable to the P. So the first key point is that there is certainty on the profit attributable to the activities performed in Italy. The second very important point is that the foreign directors, so the directors on the entity that is found to have a P in Italy, are discharged from key criminal infringements in Italy. Third point, there is a substantial reduction of the penalties, ordinary applicable, which could range from 120 to 240% of unpaid tax. So it's, it's very attractive. If, and this is what taxpayers hope, uh, the Italian tax authority confirmed that there is no P, there was no P, all the other offices are bound by this outcome. So in any case, the taxpayer obtained certainty on what happened in the past. Um, there is some uh, documents, of course, to be submitted to the authorities, like transfer pricing documentation, financial statements, um, and so on. Um, it is interesting to note that, um, I mean, the procedure was yeah, introduced in 2019. Uh, we as KPMG Italy managed the, the first 
procedure that was actually completed um, on, in that sense. Uh, the outcome was that um, the Italian tax authorities confirmed that all the four different entities, uh, part of a multinational group based in the US, did not have a P in Italy. Um, the procedure was uh, quite complex because, you know, we were in the COVID um, situation, so it took a little bit more than one, one year. Um, we work with the client uh, assisting all the employees during the interviews, and basically we uh, work also together with the Italian tax authorities in defining all the uh, technical arguments uh, grounding the decision. So very interesting case, uh, very useful for all the entities that are uh, working with the Italian market um, to prevent or to minimize the risk of this severe P assessment in Italy. You know, Lorenzo, this is really interesting because, of course, um, directors are sensitive to this question of criminal um, sanctions in the event that a permanent establishment is found and tax rules have not been complied with. So this is a relatively recent um, process. Yes, it is. Um, basically, the law was introduced in 2017, but actually the, the, the procedures started only in 2019. So, um, uh, it's, it's very recent and based on what the, the, the central office told us, uh, the, the client that we supported uh, was the first one to positively uh, complete the procedure. So that was a very interesting experience. We were shoulder to shoulder with the client with the office and uh, um, yeah, the, the outcomes, uh, I would say, well, really positive. Well, just fascinating. And I guess having gone through the first procedure in Italy, that gives you just a wealth of experience of how to think about getting into this program and engaging with the tax authorities to present the most appropriate picture. So that's, that's fascinating. Well, Lorenzo, this is really interesting. It seems like particularly in today's environment where everyone's very sensitive about the question of disputes and just wanting certainty as to their tax affairs. This seems like a very compelling thing that people should be considering in their um, in their uh, uh, desires to obtain certainty in their tax affairs. So Lorenzo, thank you very much. This has been a fascinating discussion and I look forward to catching up with you again and hearing about yet more uh, changes as to what's going on in Italy and the ability to continue to get certainty in tax affairs. Thank you. Lorenzo. Thank you very much. Thank you.